Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Darrell from The Quest in Galesburg, Illinois. I want to thank you once again for stopping by to give me just a moment to speak into your life. And I want you to know how much that means to me. I appreciate that. Um, I want to share something with you today that uh, just a little while ago, I spent some time on the phone with uh, one of my former members, somebody I pastored many years back. Uh, they are out now pastoring and uh, I didn't even know they were pastoring it until they called me. But uh, at any rate, let me just share briefly what this man shared with me. He said he's uh, gone to this area, took a church that has been established, which is what most of us do. Um, and he said he saw such a great opportunity there. And as he has been there now for not quite a year, I think he said like 10 months, something like that. He said the church has begun to grow, there's excitement in the air, but all of a sudden, people within the church have risen up against him, began to cause trouble. I said, no kidding. <laughs> I'm not trying to be harsh, and I'm not trying to be funny, but that's reality. Every one of us have experienced it because there's something that happens. As a church that says they want to grow, begins to grow, all of a sudden, People who have been there and have run the ship, if you will, those who have been in control, will begin to rise up because they become fearful of losing control of their church. Their church. Get that. They're losing control of their church. When that happens, they begin to spread rumors. They begin to tell tales. They begin to criticize the new people that are coming into the church. Now, let me give you scripture to back up what I'm saying. Paul writing to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse number 9, just let me pull that one verse out. He says, there is a great door of opportunity for effective work that is open before me, and there are many who oppose me. I, I don't know if Brother Paul knew exactly what he was writing at that point, but it is always going to be that way. Listen, when you're doing something for God, whether it's pastoring, whether it's evangelizing, whether you're teaching, it may be just living your normal life. You may be a lay person. When you begin to become effective for the kingdom of God, doing things to help the church and the kingdom of God to grow and to flourish, you can expect opposition. Well-meaning people can often rise up against you and begin to tear you down, to criticize you. They don't even seem to understand what they're doing, but they're being pawns for Satan is exactly what it is. I'm going to call it what it is, and if somebody gets offended, be offended. You need to understand that if you are hindering the work of God, if you are getting in the way and causing the kingdom of God to stall or go backwards, it certainly isn't God you're working for. Now, for those who, who are like my friend, who is out there pastoring his first church, and there's so many that are out there. I was just talking with somebody else who's getting ready to go plant their first church, and I told them, I said, get prepared, because it's not as easy as you would think it would be. There, for every opportunity that we have, and great opportunities, as Paul said, you can expect adversity. The devil's not going to simply lay down and let you advance the kingdom of God. He's going to fight you at every turn, and he will rise up sometimes family members, sometimes friends, church members, other ministers, to try to tear you down to keep you from furthering. Now, those people don't even really get it. They think they're doing something great. We're losing our church. This is our church. Well, that's the problem. When it becomes your church, it's no longer God's church. Get out of the way. One of my good friends, Dwight, has, was famous for saying something years ago. He said, so many people say, I've been in the way for 30 years. And he said, it's about time you get out of the way. Listen, if you are being in the way, if you are causing the kingdom of God to stall or to go backwards, you're a problem and you need to repent. But if you're out there doing the work of the kingdom... Expect that opposition. It's going to happen. It doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It means you're doing something right. So when opposition comes against you, understand you're doing exactly what God wants you to do. You just keep on pushing, keep on plugging away. Most of all, keep praying and asking God. Get others around you to pray with you because you have to pray down the victory over those people that are rising up against you 
to stall the kingdom of God. I hope this helps somebody. I'm sure I probably angered somebody as well today. You need to talk about it. Give me a shout. We'll talk. But I'm going to stand my ground because it's in God's word. God bless you. You have a great day. Come back and see me again at the quest.